Hi, this is Charles Lewis, and welcome to my photography studio. If you don't happen to know who I am, I'm a portrait and wedding photographer. I've been doing that for almost 40 years now. I'm earning a really, really good living. In fact, I have the studio of my dreams. And I want to share with you a really powerful, money-making hot tip for the photography business. If you'd like more information, go to www.cjlewis.com, that's L-E-W-I-S, dot com slash free secrets dot html let's get to this hot tip today what's your most important tool okay if i were to ask you what's your most important tool that you own would you be tempted to say your camera i would have years ago before i knew any better but it's not your most important tool without a doubt or would you say how about a computer Okay, there's a good one. How about Photoshop? There's a good one. No. Your most important tool, without a doubt, is your telephone. Now, before you snooze off and turn this video off and say, oh my gosh, what a bore, he's not going to talk about the telephone, is he? Yeah, I'm going to give you one very specific tip that if you use it, will earn you a lot more money doing what you love to do with your camera. Okay? Let's talk about what to say when someone calls and you're talking with them on the phone and you're trying to convince them to hire you. And she says something like, well, you know, I'm going to have to check with my husband and I'll call you back. Thanks, though. You've been really helpful. What do you say? What do you say right then, right there? If you mess this up, she's gone. She's history. But if you get it right, the, the conversation continues and you have a much better chance of convincing her to work with you rather than somebody else. So let's role play this for a minute, all right? Let's take our telephone and let's say we're talking on the telephone and she's saying, you know, I like what you've said, but I'm going to have to think about this and call you back. You say, well, you know, I understand exactly how you feel. If I were you, I'd feel the same way. But if you don't mind me asking, what do you feel he will say when you check with him? If you will memorize that and put it into your, into your head in such a way that you will never forget it. I mean, you could be fast asleep at 3 o'clock in the morning and I sneak into your bedroom and I shake you gently and I say, I'm going to have to check with my husband and call you back. You are so good with this. You've got it so deeply embedded in your mind that in the middle of the sleeping stupor, you say, well, what do you feel she's going to say when, when, what do you feel he's going to say when you ch check with him? That's how good this has got to be. That's how automatic it has to be. Because the answer to that question continues the conversation in some way. Otherwise, what, what are you going to say? You're going to say, well, okay, you check with him and, and if you have any other questions, you give me a call back. I'll be here when you need me. That's what we call marshmallowing. I mean, a monkey could do that. That's not going to earn you any money. It's not going to get you any clients. The, the fact of the matter is you're sending away more clients that are going somewhere else than you could humanly handle. We're screwing it up that bad. That's how badly anyway I was screwing it up when I didn't know this stuff. So remember, every time you hear her say, her say I'm going to have to check with my husband and call you back without any... Not, but, 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 be diplomatic, be slow, be sensitive. Say, well, I understand completely how you feel, but if you don't mind me asking, what do you feel he'll say when you check with him? And then be quiet. If you like this tip and you'd like other free money-making hot tips and secrets, go to www.cjlewis.com forward slash free secrets.html. I'm Charles Lewis signing off for now. I'll talk to you next time.